Hey everyone, it's Ryan from Drop Off Aquatics. I'm just doing a quick video today to show you some new pieces of wood that we've had in. And they are actually pretty amazing. Uh, the pictures, when we were ordering these, we could only see pictures of them and there's just one picture per piece of wood. And literally, it's a really difficult way of judging whether the wood was going to actually be any good. We've had it before where we've ordered pieces of wood uh, off a picture, off a website from our wholesalers and the wood comes in and it's just absolutely rubbish, absolutely rubbish and it's just so difficult, you know, we, we always want to try and find the best pieces of wood, decent wood for you guys because then you guys are obviously going to want to put them in, buy them and put them in your aquariums. So when we get bum buys, as we call it, where we get a piece of wood and we're just never going to be able to shift it, so it's a bit of a wounder. Anyway, back to what we were saying before I jab, jab, jab it on. Uh, so yeah, we've had the predominantly classes bonsai trees. So bonsai trees, if you don't know what bonsai trees are, they are pieces of wood stuck together, molded together, and you can actually add bits of moss on top of them. For example, probably Christmas moss is going to be the best moss because it's quite a tight, uh, tightly grown moss. So it's going to give you that really good bonsai tree effect. Obviously, you can go for other things. You could use different plants. You could use different mosses if you wanted to. The world's your oyster. Do whatever you feel. But yeah, let me show you some of these woods that we've got in there. Absolutely amazing. I'll just flip the camera around now. So this is the first three pieces. Check out that piece on the right hand side. That is absolutely amazing. So this is a 80 centimeter long aquarium. It's the Aqua Nano, to give you a size reference. That is just about touching the right hand side. And it's well, it, well, it's pretty much over to the, to the halfway mark. So. That's at least two foot in length. And as I say, you'd, if you wanted to, add moss onto this bit here. Cover that with moss. And as that grows out, that would be absolutely spectacular. Imagine that in a shrimp tank. Imagine shrimps going all in amongst these bits of pieces of wood here. That'd be amazing. Absolutely amazing. So there's that piece. There's a smaller one. We thought, why not get a smaller piece in? There's this one, which is quite groovy, actually. I quite like this one. We might have to uh, put this one in a display tank if it doesn't sell it by the weekend. Now, these are actually all man-made. They get pieces of wood, and then they chop up other pieces of wood and then stick them onto the original pieces of wood to create new structures like this. really really nice so yeah we got those three and these are wood that we can get in pretty much all the time now so just drop us a message if you're interested in buying any I'll show you some others so we have that one there and that's a really cool one And then that one as well. And then this one, if we can just get the sticker out of the way, there we go. So again, this one I like because you could add moss onto this point here, this point here, here, all on here. And that looked really quite cool. Again, these, these lend themselves to going in shrimp tanks, but they don't have to be shrimp tanks. You could add these into your standard aquascape no problem at all so cool and then the final three that we've got are just over here oh this is the Trigon 190 that we set up the other week by the way I'll do another video on this an update video we've got some Amazon puffers in here now really cool little fish fully fresh water they're pretty much one of the only puffer fish that are fully fresh water 
and they only get to about four or five inches maximum and we've actually got those they're relatively peaceful as well so we've got those in with some Kodos Julie or Trilineatus these are what these are and then we've got if I can find one we've got some Calico bristle nose in here as well but anyway yeah I'll do a I'll do a proper video on this just updating on everyone on this tank anyway back to it so these are the last pieces of wood that we've had in new this today this week so this is a small octopus wood 25 quid that's amazing really really nice piece and then we've got these that these are well I'm gonna class them as the Christmas trees because imagine imagine all of this bit and all of this bit covered with weeping moss or willow moss or again Christmas moss it would look just like a Christmas tree and I really really want to do one I really really want to set up another tank get some moss on one of these and just see what it looks like once it's grown out I think it'd be absolutely fantastic so problem is though I like every single piece I don't know which piece is the best in the comments which piece is your favorite is it number one number two number three number four number five number six number seven number eight or last but not least number nine let us know which one your favorite one is and if you're interested in purchasing any of these we can ship these out UK only at the moment so just let us know drop us a message drop us an email get in touch with us I can soon sort these out if you're in the local area by all means pop in and check them out they're incredible absolutely incredible yes they are some of them are quite expensive like this piece is 80 pounds but really when you actually imagine what kind of work has gone in to making this I'd say it's not bad at all really plus as well if you say you had a 40 centimeter cube a 55 liter aquarium that would fill that that would be your main statement your main feature yes you could always have some lava rock on the bottom or what have you some rock just to accentuate it a little bit more but that would do you so that is it I just it's only a really quick video this one I just wanted to show you, like I say, these awesome pieces of wood because uh, sometimes with photos we can never quite capture how good they look on a photo. Whereas I thought if I did a quick video I could very easily show you what they look like. So you guys get a better idea that way. Okay so uh, yeah. As always, please give the video a thumbs up, give it a like. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. We are going to be doing a lot more videos from now on. It's just so much easier, so much quicker for us to just grab the phone out and do a quick video of stock like this rather than taking photos with a DSLR, editing them, putting them on the laptop then uploading them to Facebook it's so much quicker doing it this way so hit that subscribe button hit that bell notif notification button so then you won't miss any of our future uploads then 
and it's a great way of just keeping in touch with any up upcoming videos and any future stock that's coming in okay thanks very much everyone catch you on the next one see ya